Hey, Purpose Fractured community, let's talk about it. Today we're addressing what is self-love, you know, and some of the characteristics that define it. Uh, I was speaking with someone and it came up in conversation and they just shot it at me. And, you know, it's, it sounds so basic when you think about it, like, what is self-love? You know, I thought about, you know, I'm, my, my self-worth, my self-happiness, how I feel about myself, how I treat myself. Self-care came into uh, my mind when I, when I was answering the question to the person. And, I, you know, it's, it's weird that uh, it really is a lot. You know, and I went and did some research on it and I figured, hey, why not share with my community what I found out? OK, the actual characteristics and what it may mean for different people. Cause I told you my list of what it is, you know, starting this video out. But I'm just going to share some of the other things that I found out that details self-love, you know, talking to and about yourself with love, prioritizing yourself, giving yourself a break from self-judgment. Trusting yourself, being true to yourself, being nice to yourself, setting healthy boundaries, forgiving yourself when you are not being true or nice to yourself. So these are different ways that you can be able to, you know, actually have self-love, um, different ways of self-care to be able. That's part of it. And I felt and I feel like I align with that because, you know, that's why I always speak to you about health and wellness. You know, what's your diet like? You know, our bodies, without our, us having good health and wellness, how do we actually get up and attack life every day? How do we actually stay on our purpose every day and stay driven and stay committed, stay motivated to keep on, you know, waking up and, you know, keep doing it every day. And that, that daily grind, you know, that we have to go through to be able to achieve greatness and, and, and really make our dreams come true. Sometimes we have to be listening to our bodies. You know, take breaks in between, you know, our work. You know, don't always just feel like it has to be work, 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 work all the time. Because after a while, you just gas yourself out and, you know, you just have nothing left. And I think that's daunting, you know, to just go to you have nothing left. Like anything that you're doing, like I always tell you about your passion, your purpose, it should fuel you because you love it. So that's the thing. That's the key. You know, it shouldn't just be work. It should be something that you love doing. And if you love doing it, it's okay to even sometimes, although you love it, to take a break and step back, to take a breather and reset, you know? So always have those times to do that for yourself throughout the week or throughout the, um, the day if need be. Um, putting your phone down and disconnecting from just social media and all that hype to just have your own peace within yourself and time to engage with people that you may love and care for. And, or that may mean just taking the peace of mind time for yourself just to, you know, woosa and just relax and just like, okay, it's just, I'm just wanting myself with myself right now. I'm just getting myself, you know, clearing my mind for the moment as I move forward to do the next task, maybe for tomorrow, ready for the next day of work, you know, but having that time and ability to just one yourself, I call it, you know, eating healthy, you know, and watch what you're putting in your body as far as toxins. So that's just different ways that I believe that you actually demonstrate self-love. But we should all have self-love and be taking care of ourselves, being take, taking care of our bodies. You know, I believe that all of that is great ingredients to a successful life because what's the use of having uh, wealth without your health? And, you know, this all I think health is wealth, actually, you know, because without being alive and healthy, what's, it doesn't matter if you have a whole bunch of money. You won't even be around to enjoy it. So take care of yourselves as you're out there on your passion, pursuing your purpose, and doing what you have to do day to day to provide for you and your families. Just know that self-care is self-love. So take care of yourself out there. All right? I hope that helped. Like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the video today. And I'll see you on the next one.